I'd like to introduce our, our number 37 pick in the draft. Uh, he's a little late. You know, he spent some time at a tailor's shop in Charlotte this morning, <laughs> and that's why he was late. But he was able to get a, a perfectly suited suit for the occasion. So um, at this point, I'd like to introduce, you know, say a few words, and then open it up to questions. Uh, JT Thor. How y'all doing? Uh, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you, God, for the opportunity. Uh, thanks for the city of Charlotte. Um, it's great to be back. So I appreciate the opportunity, and, and everything's great. Hi, uh, Sam Perley with Hornets.com. JT, congratulations. <laughs> Welcome to Charlotte. Uh, I know you worked out for the team a few weeks ago. Just what do you recall from that workout? What do you think uh, made such a good impression on the team? And then, uh, Mitch, I guess, what was the appeal when you had JT throughout this process? What made him such a good fit for this team? Um, I'll say <clears throat> when, uh, when, when, when I worked out, um, I showed the coaches that, that I'm improving my game rapidly from, from college, from from uh, my last game to now that I'm improving and I drastically improved. Um, my lower body got stronger and my shot mechanics are way better. Um, I feel like I'm going to be a great player someday and I think the coaches seen that in me so that's why they took a chance on me. You know, another young uh, player you know, with God-given gifts and um, to his credit, and he just mentioned it, you know, somebody that's worked on his game um, great work ethic, you know, obviously great size, great length. Um, you know, put in the time to date, but, but young. And I'm not, I'm not even sure you've turned to 19 yet, have you? No, no, sir. Next month. You're still, still 18 years old. How about that, huh? Um, so if he continues to work, um, we're hopeful that along with our player development people, that he'll improve every year and be able to make a contribution down the road. Just got one quick follow-up for JT. Um, coming in with Kai, with James, and Scotty Lewis, so I'm not sure how much familiarity you have playing against the SEC. How do you think you guys kind of all fit together on the court and then adding into the guys they already have here, LaMelo, Miles, guys like that, how do you feel like you're all going to kind of gel together um, heading into summer league and then obviously the start of the regular season? Um, I feel like we're all coming in with, with the chip on our shoulders. That's, that's what I feel like. Um, everybody has something to prove. Um, so I feel like us joining together and having that grit, we can, we can, uh, we can, we can make something happen. Um, see the middle ball, great playmaker, um, terrific in transition. I, feel, I think he can compliment us a lot. Um, me, Scotty, Kai, and James, we're all, we're all freakish athletic. So if we run the break, he can give it to us and things like that. Good basketball. Is it, I got what, just one quick follow-up. Is it? I know this has been kind of a fast-moving process, especially last night. Is it settled in for you being here, kind of seeing the arena, seeing the court, seeing, you know, some of your new uh, guys you're going to be working with? I mean, what's been kind of the coolest part of this whole process for you? And that's moved very quickly the last 12, 18 hours. Um, it's, been, it's been great. Uh, a lot of butterflies, a lot of a lot of emotions coming through my body even right now, since since last night. So. Um, I'm just very blessed to be here, and I can't wait to seize the opportunity. So, here in the back on the cameras, JT, I'm waving at you. Congratulations, Mike Salarte, Spectre News One. Uh, you, you alluded to happy to be back. Was that based on your visit, or am I missing something that you were in in the Queen City at some point? And I have a follow-up for you after that. Oh yeah, um, I think in 2018 I was here for a month. I was, here in the, I was here for a month in the summer. We used to live here, me and my brother, so. Now, as you look forward to the process of becoming a pro at the age, tender age of 18, what is, what is your expectation, what are your expectations of yourself to try to ascend and crack this roster and, and be a Hornet, you know, because it's, it's, it's a tough road for, for second round picks historically. Oh, my, my mentality coming in is uh, what can I do to help contribute to winning? What can I do to help the team win? Um, I feel like I feel like I need to I need to strap down on defense. Um, if I if I if I gain the coach's trust from the defensive side, I feel like um, I'll be in good hands. Hey, uh, JT, right in the front. Is there somebody you pattern your game after in the NBA? Is there anybody in particular you say, you know what, this is a guy I look toward to kind of have my game look similar similar to his per se in the NBA? Um, 
growing up, I always idolized watching Kevin Durant. But, you know, Kevin Durant's a special player, and uh, nobody could be like him. But that's the person who I used to watch every day and idolize. So, Kevin Durant. And what do you feel um, are some of your, I guess, best attributes that you want to bring to this team as you try to, you know, find your way here in the roster? Um, great versatility um, on the defensive end and on the offensive end. Um, effectively switching the pick and rolls, um, guarding one through four, one through five. Um, on the offensive side, I know Lamelo, great playmaker. He's gonna bring, a, he's gonna draw crowds in. So I'm gonna be able to hit the hit the corner shot, hit the uh, wing shot, top of the key shot. So uh, just keeping it real simple early on in my career. You mentioned doing one through four. The Hornets like people who can play more than one spot, guarding more than one spot out there on the floor. So how do you feel? I, I just said that when they put you to certain schemes out there on the floor, the workouts. How do you feel you did do those workouts to kind of make yourself feel comfortable here in the, in the scheme? Um, just by. Uh, I mean, I feel, wait, can you answer that question again? Yeah, just how did, when they put you through workouts here, showing you different things they actually do on offense and defense, switching positions, how do you feel you were effective in that? And how do you feel that you'll be able to do that when they put you out there on the floor in real situations and game situations out there? Uh, I feel like when, I'm, like when I get on the court, um, it's just natural to me. Uh, I like being on the perimeter and I like being inside. So it's just, it just natural. And that comes from hard work too. Um, I've been working on my perimeter game since, since the season ended. and. Um, so things like that. And then for Mitch, I'm assuming all the guys will play in summer league, the draft picks. Um, how much do you want to see him out there work the system with, with the coaches and kind of just get their feet wet in summer league out there as well? Well, the players, <clears throat> excuse me, the players have to return to Charlotte, you know, on Monday um, for the beginning of our summer program. And we'll practice uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then fly to Las Vegas on Saturday. Uh, we will have several of our, our rookies from this past year. Uh, we'll have uh, perhaps some of our two-way players, uh, maybe some of our G League players, um, and maybe perhaps, you know, a player or two that was not drafted. So clearly, you know, the goal is to develop, you know, the players that you have the biggest investment in. So we would hope that, you know, our draft picks play the most and, you know, get as much court time as possible. But, you know, if you don't come to practice and you're not working or for some reason you're not into it, then I'm not sure our coach is going to reward you, you know, with minutes in Las Vegas. So, you know, yeah, our goal would be to develop, you know, the players that we've drafted and the players that have been in the system here. Uh, but really, it's up to the players themselves. JT, Scott Fowler from the Charlotte Observer, the newspaper here. Um, you've had quite a journey, it sounds like, uh, you know, from, from where you're from and, all, and the places you've been. I wonder if you could just speak to sort of your journey and the, the difficulties you've overcome to get to this moment. Uh, <clears throat> so, I uh, grew up in Alaska, it's really, really, really far. Um, Spent most of my childhood there. Um, very humbling beginnings. Um, didn't have a lot. Um, seven siblings. We got, I got four brothers, three sisters. Um, parents working a lot, so so um, every day was just it was just a grind for me. I feel like that's what that's what shaped me today. That's what that's what got my mentality. Um, I feel after after uh, I was 14 years old when I left Alaska to really take the basketball thing serious. Um, my brother out here took me. Took me in, uh, took me in his arms, and really, we just started working, and and we got we made it here. So, so there's much more work to do, but but uh, it's the little wins that you gotta celebrate.